Mill Kill, Wiltshire, England, 1991. Steve Alexander, a local photographer, is filming footage of a crop formation from a neighboring hill when he captures a strange metallic light floating in the field below. What is it? Hello. His camera caught sight of what seemed to be a white orb of light flying right across this field, right next to a crop circle. That orb of light, whatever it was, flew directly over a tractor working in the next field down. And later on, that farmer was contacted, and he said, I saw this weird orb of light about the size of a melon or something fly over my tractor. Whatever that is, that's moving on its own. I myself have seen several, and they are astonishing in their brightness. We are dealing with intelligent plasmas that are sending and receiving information for another intelligence of unknown origin. Orbs of light are a commonly associated phenomenon with crop circles, and this goes all the way back to the story of the mowing devil in 1678. The sighting of lights is often associated with these phenomena, and they do seem to suggest something we don't understand. The ghost lights, the will of the wisp sightings, represented some force of nature we had not entirely acknowledged or given sufficient respect to, some mystery that we need to come to grips with. It could be an actual craft, or it could potentially be something like the stylus from an extraterrestrial hand that is somewhere far away, but this light is the projected form of a technology being used from the safety and comfort of space. We have to imagine an advanced extraterrestrial race sending out orbs of light that are sort of like peepholes for exploration. They come to a planet, they find something interesting, the peephole opens into a portal, perhaps through which these advanced visitors can pass, or perhaps through which a human could even enter and travel to the home planet of the orb. Is this what a crop circle is? To me, the proliferation of wormhole-themed crop circles tells us that this is the method of communication as well as travel of these advanced visitors. There is a possibility that we are dealing with time travelers. The time travelers are using the crop formations to judge the accuracy of their time travel. So are the crop formations designed for humans at all. Just what purpose do crop circles serve? Are they landing codes for time travelers, as some crop circle investigators suggest? Or is it possible that they serve as a communication medium, one only meant for us to discover once we evolved enough to discern them from the sky?